Good evening, and welcome to Gateway Technicals College commencement ceremony for the adult high school, HSED, and GED programs. I have a few announcements before we begin the ceremony. For the safety and comfort of our graduates and guests, please stay around your vehicles during the ceremony and the conferring of diplomas. Also, you can tune into 89.7 FM to listen to the ceremony. And also, we would like to let you all know that we do have restroom facilities to my right here, there. After the ceremony, you will have an opportunity to take photos of your grads by our photo stations by the Madrigano Conference Center and also by our administration center there. Now, we will take a moment for the national anthem. Thank you. You may be seated. Good evening. I am Cindine Jennings, and I'm the Dean of the Pre-College and Programs and Racine Campus Affairs. On behalf of Gateway Technical College Board of Trustees, President, Administration, Faculty, and Students, we welcome you to our adult high school graduation HSED GED completion ceremony. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Zena Haywood, our Executive Vice President, Provost of Gateway Technical College, to the podium. Thank you, Dean Jennings. Good afternoon. Welcome to the 2021 Adult High School GED HSED Completion Ceremonies. My name is Zena Haywood, and I'm the Executive Vice President and Provost of Gateway. In this role, I serve as Chief Academic Officer for all of Gateway's 45 associate degree programs, 34 technical diplomas, 86 certificates, and pre-college programs. Congratulations, class of 2021, and thank you for choosing Gateway Technical College. Today is all about you. My hope and the hope of our amazing faculty is that you have gained the skills, motivation, and inspiration to continue on your educational journey. I encourage you to maintain the diligence, the resiliency through a pandemic, and the hard work you used in achieving today's credentials. We are proud of you, and you too should be proud of your accomplishment. Who knows what could happen? In this crowd, there could be the next Joe Biden, or Kamala Harris, or Martin Luther King Jr., or Cesar Chavez, or even Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Graduation is more than just completing a credential. We trust your experience has not been a transaction, but a transformation. Thank you for coming, and again, congratulations, class of 2021. Thank you, Provost Haywood. Next, I would like to welcome to the stage Dr. Brian Albrecht, President and CEO of Gateway Technical College. Thank you, Cindine. You know, we are not only celebrating your graduation here tonight, but it's also being broadcast simultaneously on Facebook and other social media sites 
So I think we should let the whole world know how proud we are of all of you. So if you're in your car, go ahead and beep the horn. Let's let everybody know what's going on at Gateway Technical College tonight. Wow. And, and I hope someone behind us is also taking pictures. I know you're all taking pictures of us, but I hope we're taking pictures the other way because I want to be the first one to tweet out this amazing scene that I'm looking at right now. Graduates, you are so loved by your family and friends. What a great turnout for tonight's graduation ceremony. I want to first thank everyone that helped put this together. Not only your teachers and all of the support staff that helped you complete your journey, but today, all of the technical support that we have and the volunteers that made it such a special day for you and for many others as they've graduated today from Gateway Technical College. Well, you know why we're here, right? Yeah, we're here to celebrate you, as Zena said. We're also here because you said yes. You said yes to completing a personal goal. You said yes to opening new doors of opportunity for yourself and your families. You said, I can and I did. And tonight, I'm sure that few moments that you have walking across the stage, you will feel something very special inside, a sense of accomplishment and joy that is hard to replace. So tonight, we're honored to be here to celebrate with you. But you also said yes to your family, that you can overcome big challenges. I'm sure there were times throughout your programming here today, or even maybe before you started one of these programs, that you didn't know if you could make it. So you're demonstrating that you have the courage to everyone that's here today and everyone that knows you and supports you. You said yes to a brighter future, something that you're probably looking forward to now that you have your high school GED, adult high school degree. That can open doors of opportunity. And you said yes to new career opportunities. This is just the beginning. It's a stepping stone for you to achieve great success in anything that you want to do. And lastly, you said yes to continuing your education. Life education starts with your degree. Your formal education, we welcome you to consider Gateway Technical College to continue this journey. You already have the, the infrastructure and network in place. You know our teachers. You know our support systems that are here. You have great friends at Gateway. They will help you take your next step in your educational journey. On behalf of the Gateway Board of Trustees, we are honored to be with you tonight to celebrate your graduation. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Albright. This evening, we are honored to have our 2021 Kenosha Campus and District Ambassador, Jesus Vega, deliver the student remarks. Let me tell you a little bit about Jesus. Jesus Vega Jr. began his gateway journey in fall of 2017 when he enrolled and completed our emergency medical technician program. Today, Jesus, who many of us know as JJ, graduated with an associate degree in nursing this morning. JJ is the 2021 Kenosha and District Ambassador, a member of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, and a member of the Student Nursing Association. JJ is actively in, engaged in community outreach through coaching youth wrestling, mentoring, and through the emergency room at Aurora Medical Center in Kenosha, where he is now employed as a nurse. JJ is not done learning and has already begun his bachelor's degree at Western Governors University. In the future, JJ plans to return to Gateway to help teach the next generation of nurses. Please join me in welcoming Jesus J.J. Vega to the stage. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, this is beautiful. I love, I love doing things like this. Man, God is good all the time. Hello, my name is Jesus Vega Jr. Uh, more commonly, I'm known as J.J. I'm the district student ambassador as well as the Kenosha ambassador for Gateway. Uh, let me first start off by saying congratulations to all of you for reaching forward and taking this step to better yourselves and your lives. Some background on me, I'm a second generation immigrant raised in a split family. I was the first one to go to school past high school and succeed. I say that comment with a grain of salt because the first college I attended I was not successful at. I had to step back from education and with that I found this place. I am now a registered nurse pursuing my bachelor's degree and Gateway opened up a world of opportunities for me, just as it has for you. 
My favorite poet since I was a child has been Maya Angelou. And she said, there is no greater agony than bearing an untold story inside of you. I left school feeling like a failure, like I had let down the people who supported me and wanted me to succeed. I use my story, my experiences, and my life to inspire others. From this day forward, use this. Give others the gift of inspiration. For whatever reason, we had to step away from education, taking care of our families, getting our lives together. The reasons are endless and unimportant. What I want to highlight for you and for the people who are here supporting you today is the reason or reasons you chose to come back. That thought in the back of your head that kept you moving forward through adversity and each trial and tribulation you faced. Anything that attempted to knock you off the path of success. Maybe you did it to show your kids it was possible or because you made a promise to a loved one. Whatever it may be, please take a moment and hold that reason in your mind and in your heart. It's a beautiful and incredible feeling. I want you to smile, laugh, pray, cry, let the emotions out. You did it. There are many people who will think that there is something wrong with the way you claimed this accomplishment. Do not let a single soul look down on you for what you have accomplished. You should be celebrated and encouraged for having the strength to return to education and absolutely rock it. You came out on top today. This is your day to pat yourself on the back, do the happy dance, however you can show yourself how far you've come and progressed. Maya, God rest her soul, also said, success is liking yourself, liking what you do, and liking how you do it. Both of these ring true in my experience, and I'm passing them on to you to remember. Enjoying yourself, enjoying your career, and enjoying living should, become, should come before everything else. The second is to show you that although some of you may see this as a small step, you are inspiring someone today. I beg you to spread your story freely, your message, your journey, because it will help and inspire somebody more to take steps and come to this place. This is an amazing accomplishment. This is a giant leap forward preparing you for what comes next. I urge all of you to take the next step, whether it be here at Gateway or in a different environment. Continue to succeed. Continue the hunger to take on more. And most importantly, continue to be good people. Continue your story and be proud of it and of yourselves. Honor all the parts of it, good, bad, and indifferent. Your story is who you are, courageous, diligent, and inspiring. Congratulations to all of you, and thank you for allowing me to speak today. I cannot wait to see what you do to the world. Thank you so much, JJ. Before I introduce our keynote speaker for this evening, I want to thank our pre-college team, our gateway team, our K-12 and community partners for their continued support of our high school programming here at the college. I also want to recognize that this is our last graduating class for our adult high school program. There is a quote by Frederick Douglass that says, without a struggle, there can be no progress. This quote resonates with me as we find ourselves going into year two of a pandemic which has impacted the lives of so many. Each of you should be very proud of where you're at at this time in your life. As you celebrate your graduation, please remember how you have persevered through all life's challenges to get to this point in your educational journey. It takes a lot of commitment to devote a large amount of your life towards earning your high school credential. Work and life schedules have to be adjusted so that you can attend classes and have the necessary time to study. You manage to keep yourselves on track while in a pandemic. It is my hope that you take pleasure and satisfaction in what you've achieved today that you continue to strive for, be bold, and take risks. Congratulations and best wishes to you all. Next, I would like to introduce our keynote speaker for this evening, Dr. Stacia Thompson. Dr. Stacia Thompson has worked as a coordinator for the Gear Up program, an academic advisor for student support services, a director of Upward Bound, project director of the Health Professions Opportunity Program, and ACT for Healthcare, Director of Workforce Strategies and Vice Chancellor Economic Workforce Innovation. 
All of these programs allow her to continue with her passion of creating educational and workforce opportunity programs for the community. In her current role, she is the Vice President of the Workforce Innovation Institute and Executive Director for the Catalytic Ventures Career Fellowships. In this role, she has responsibility for managing day-to-day -day activities for the Workforce Innovation Institute and directly responsible for the development and programming aspects of the Catalytic Ventures Career Fund. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Stacia Thompson. Good evening. I guess I don't know what else I can say after JJ's words and after Ms. Zena and Dr. Brian and Sandine, but I just want to say good evening to all the graduates and all the friends and family of the loved ones of the graduates that are here this evening. My name is Dr. Stacia Thompson, and I count it a privilege and an honor to be able to stand before you today. So I want to say thank you to Ms. Sandine and for Gateway Technical College, my professional home away from home, and entrusting the next few minutes in my hands. Um, I'm not sure why they thought that was a good idea on their part, but here we are. So Gateway was and is still home to me. My eight years here were filled with many fond memories with amazing colleagues who became friends and family. So if I could look back and take a guess as to, you know, why they might want me here, I could think of a couple of things. And you're probably wondering right, right now, too, you know, who is this lady and why did they choose her to stand before us today? So as I think about it, you could say that I can relate to the journey that has brought us all here tonight. Two years of my professional and educational life was dedicated to working with the illustrious adult high school pre-college GED staff, trying to answer the question, how do we help more students successfully attain their high school credential? And if now you have a lot of time on your hands because you're done with your GED and you can't sleep at night and you need something to put you sleep, I have a dissertation or a paper that's about a little over 100 pages long to tell you about what we learned about, and it could probably put you to sleep as well. So when I say I know the amount of time, energy, dedication, and effort put forward for you to graduate tonight, I speak from experience. And you're probably wondering, what do you mean you speak from experience? You have a doctorate, not a GED. So do I have a GED? Not at all. I wish I could say yes, but I hate to admit it. The reality is I could not pass that damn test as a part of my efforts, I took several portions of the exam, and I never scored high enough to pass the exam. As some of you can tell, I know you're on the parking lot, you can't see very close. I'm salt and pepper, I'm gray. If I wasn't already gray, those tests would have turned every hair in my head gray. So now you all have bragging rights over me. I may have a doctorate, but I could not pass the GED. So as I shared, I have some reading material that shares the t statistics of just how many people start out and don't finish their high school credentials. And the numbers are horrible. Now I'm looking at my notes, and at this point it says, insert history lesson. Sorry, that's just the educator in me. Over the years, there have been many changes and additions to the GED. It's only actually been in recent times that states have even allowed other options, such as the adult high school and alternative options. So just to leave you with some, some numbers, in 2013, the state of Wisconsin had a little over 571,000 people, adults age 25 and over, who did not have a high school diploma. Out of that number, only a little over 18,000, so 3.2% of those, actually took the GED. And then once we dig a little further, of those who started that process, only about 13,800 actually completed the GED within the state of Wisconsin. Now let's fast forward through this history lesson a little bit to 2014. At that time, the test then changed. They changed the standards, and then they took away the paper and pencil, and you could only take it on a computer. So if you can believe it, the numbers decreased even more of those that were successful in getting their GED or high school credential. And I give you that lesson all to say this. I bring that up to say that that proves even further how much of an accomplishment this is for you. Instead of being a, a negative statistic, you are now a positive statistic in that low percentage. So for that, you should be feel very accomplished today. And the other thing I want to tell you is that if you thought you were finished, I hate to burst your bubble tonight, but you're just getting started. <laughs> Can I get an amen? <laughs> Whether it took you 10 months or it took you 10 years, 
For whatever reason you chose to begin this journey, it's not over yet. You have set the stage and foundation to continue your success. Maybe you want to start a, an apprenticeship program. Maybe it's an employment opportunity you have. Maybe it's enrolling in one of the many 45, when I say many, <laughs> 45 or more <laughs> programs right here at Gateway Technical College. You know Gateway, you love Gateway, and they love you. And there's many opportunities that they can afford you. As children, we're taught to ask for permission. Whether we did it or not, that's what we are taught, right? So tonight, I want you all to give yourself permission to be great. There are so many personal, professional, and educational opportunities at your fingertips, which is why I say the journey doesn't stop here. Family and friends, I see you all here clapping and taking selfies and hugging and giving out gifts. But you play a role in this as well. I'm going to need all y'all to hold them down and hold them accountable to their goals. Be a constant reminder of how much they've done and how much more they can do. Remember that they have so much more to gain. Well, with all this being said, I know it's kind of hot today. The breeze is getting warmer. My feet are starting to hurt, but y'all like my shoes? <laughs> But I know I'm not the reason that we're all here today. It's all about you. So now I'll take my seat so we can celebrate our graduates. And again, I'd like to say congratulations. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Thompson. At this time, Provost Haywood and Dr. Brian Albright will present the adult high school diploma. Ms. Marsha Lee Hamilton, Dean Associate for the Pre-College Division, will announce the names of our graduates. Will the adult high school graduates please line up by my right. Make sure you have your face mask and your ticket with you. Okay, there it is, yeah. Ashley Rothundi. Armani, Armina. <laughs> Jacob Tennyson. Next, we're going to have our GED and HSED graduates line up. So if you're not already in the line, please proceed to the line there. And we're also going to have Amparo Trevino, who is one of our AB instructors, assist with the names of the graduates. Magali Hernandez. Angela Kugel. Wendy Bielefeld. Evan Duncan. When I touch it, mm -hmm. okay. Maria C. Alcantar Valdez.
Crystal Webb. Maribel Ceja. Luis A. Ceja. Alexis Dele Graze. Heather Asensio. Jalkina D. Tomlin. <laughs> Sulima Martinez. Ivona M. Playa Casiano. Alejandrina Flores. María E. Tejeda. Janella Steitmitz. <laughs> Melanie Jones. Deandra S. McLean. <laughs> Nyla Rutledge.
Cristina Flores. Nichelle D. Walker. <laughs> Hannah M. Evans. Andrea J. Carvajal. María V. Gil. Karina Hernández. Dante J. Williams. María Gómez. Rubén Bernal. Doris G. Luz Cano. Alexis M. Myers. Kevin M. Matherin, Jr. Kendra K. Gamble. María Y. López. Haley R. Pleva. Cindy L. Withrow. Okay. 
job. Thank you. Javier O. Gómez. Patricia R. Nájera. Leticia Nava Montes de Oca. Latoya David. María L. Rubalcaba. Claudia de la Peña Armenta. Destiny A. Zayler. <laughs> Mason C. Simmons. Victoria Rosa. Adriana in Kroger. Alexandra S. Granberry. Linda L. Casey. Covias M. Kidd. Raya Franklin.
Rosa González. Guadalupe García Jiménez. Pamela A. Smith. Antoinette M. Ward. Trey in Montgomery. And last but not least, Tamika R. Brooks. Congratulations again to all of our graduates. You all made it. So now we are going to have our president and CEO of Gateway Technical College, Dr. Brian Albright, give some closing remarks. Thank you, Cindine. This will be easy because I am so excited for each of you, and I know I could sense you were smiling under your mask. It's a little difficult with masks, but... You should feel so good. I opened up and said there are a reason we're here. It's because, yes, you said you could do it, and you proved it. So I'm going to close with this. Yes, we believe in you. Yes, we are honored to be a part of your ceremony tonight. Yes, we are proud of you as a community. And yes, we believe in your future. Congratulations, graduates. We're so thrilled for you. Thank you. Isina Haywood, confer the appropriate recognition for your work in continuing your education at Gateway Technical College. So if you're still here, stand up, stand proud. You may move the tassel on your mortarboard from right to left. Congratulations and best wishes as you continue on your educational journey. This concludes our ceremony, so if you get a chance and you haven't done so already, please make sure you take photos of your graduates. Thank you all so much for coming. Stay safe out there.